Good morning from the beautiful Oregon coast. This is our view for our video today. Uh, but today we're going to be diving into our new battery system. So for those of you who are just joining us, we travel full time in a truck camper. It's a new camp service 820. We got this about seven months ago. And then prior to that, we spent about six years in two different vans. And each of those vans had a pretty ample lithium battery system. So when we bought this, we knew we'd be doing an upgrade. It uh, just came with a little... Yeah, it came with just a tiny little one deep cycle battery, not lithium. And so that was an interesting challenge. For the last seven months, we crossed from Florida to Oregon and we had to stay in campgrounds a, a lot. lot. A lot more than we used to. I mean, we could, we could go a day or two um, if we were real careful with power, but we had to, we just had to plug in. Um, we do have 210 watts of solar that came with the camper. Um, we haven't added any to that yet, but we did finally get our lithium system and we'll kind of show you what we did. Uh, before we take you inside, I wanted to, I want to show you the actual battery compartment. Now the battery compartment is sitting between the truck and the camper. So the battery compartment is actually down in here. Um, and we're not going to pull the camper off to show you guys that. No. Uh, so it was pulled <laughs> off to get the batteries installed, obviously. And we, we did shoot a little video there when we picked it up so we could show you. But first, let me show you what the battery compartment looked like when we dropped it off. As you can see, there's lots of extra room in there. Uh, and once we removed that little battery and that little inverter, inverter uh, we had room. Well, I'll just show you what is in there now and then we'll meet you inside. As you can see, we have three 100 amp battle born lithium. These are heated batteries, uh, I'll add, and they fit just perfectly in that compartment. Um, we have some exciting news about these batteries we chose. Uh, we are now actually partnered with Battleborn. We are Battleborn brand ambassadors. Um, you Someone's know, excited. Pistol wants to get in on the action here. She's excited too. Um, yeah, so you know, if you've been following us, you know that we um, have talked about different companies reaching out to us. And um, we don't normally take them off on any offer to test products, though we have recently with the needs of this truck camper. Um, so we have done some product reviews lately and partnered with a few different uh, companies. And but it has to be something that we really, really believe in. Before oh, we yeah, do. for sure. Um, now, several lithium battery companies had reached out to us, and it, they were not companies that we wanted to partner with. Um, and after researching and talking to some other van builders uh, that we know, they talked about the reliability, the safety, and the customer service of Battleborn. That was probably the biggest thing we kept hearing when we were talking to people that we were, you know, that had been used Battleborn was the customer service. And then when we started talking to them, like it, it, you can tell they're yeah. super responsive. Yep. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> we actually reached out to them to ask them if they were interested in partnering with us. And uh, yeah, so now we're we're Battleborn brand ambassadors. So super exciting. They provided um, all the equipment. Uh, we paid for the install because that was above our pay grade. <laughs> yeah. We're not knowledgeable enough to install it ourselves. Um, but yeah, so they provided the batteries and um, this does have a DC DC charger. From Renogy um, and a Victron 3000 watt inverter. And the cool thing is we, um, we took, we took the, the camper to Ben Battery in Central Oregon, and they're the ones that did the install. Yeah. And they're actually, was recommended by Battleborn. Yeah, they're one of their premier mm. installers. So. Yeah, and I'm super glad they did. We were not sponsored by them at all, but they, no. they did the work. We paid them for the labor, and amazing job. And we didn't lose one inch. Bit of storage. Of storage space in the camper. The batteries all fit in the battery compartment. And then the inverter. Uh, let's show them what this looked like before. Okay, yeah. This is uh, a lot of, you know, the, the breaker box. There's the power box for the outdoor jacks, the solar charger. There's a lot of stuff that's in there. And to, to fit the inverter in there was, I mean, they had to move stuff around. And, and anyway, it's super awesome. Yeah, so check out what it looks like now. 
Da -da. So there's our big boy. Yep, so the inverter's here and they moved, you know, some of the stuff that was in the way, moved it back over in there, kind of yeah. cleaned all the wiring up and yep. yeah, super mm -hmm. happy with it. Very happy with it. <clears throat> Because this space wasn't something we would use for storage, so. No. Now, when, when we purchased this <laughs> December of 2022, um, this is a 2022 camper. And um, we got a good deal on it because the 2023s were coming out. Now, you can get the 2023s of this camper with lithium package already installed. Which, you know, was one of the reasons we started looking at Battleborn is actually Battleborn is the batteries that new camp is using in their new campers. So yes. That's kind of a nice thing to have it all the same. So we knew we would have to upgrade this at the time of purchase. Um, and the reason we didn't want to go with the 2023 other than the big price jump was you lose a lot of the storage and the layout is a little bit different um, with the lithium battery package already coming with the camper. So for us, we got the best layout for us and then we we're able to squeeze all these components in without even noticing that they're there. So we didn't lose any bit of storage like he mentioned. Right, and um, I, I can't show the DC to DC charger, but it's installed in the camper. And basically when we're driving, um, it's pulling, I believe, 30 amps from the alternator to charge lithium batteries while we drive. Um, we have had the system installed. We picked up the, we had the truck and camper there for, well, the camper was there for nine days. Yeah. And then the first two days, the camp, the truck was with the camper mm -hmm. while we stayed with friends and they installed the DC DC charger. Then I think the last two days, we had to have the truck there all day while they went, just did testing and testing. I, I can't say enough good things about Ben Yeah, battery. huge shout out to Brandon there, yeah, Jacob, Brandon and the whole job. crew that works on our camper made this happen. Yeah, they, I mean, the, this, the testing they went through to make sure that we were not gonna have any issues. And what was that they said? That, yeah, there was one thing they <laughs> mentioned when we were talking to them uh, through email, trying to set up an appointment and seeing if this would work. Uh, they said, once, once you leave here, we don't want to see you come back unless it's for an upgrade. And that kind of stuck with me. I'm like, I, I like that. <laughs> Do it right yeah. the first time. So Yeah, very professional place. Yes. And again, we're <laughs> not affiliated with them in any way. It's just they really uh, did a great job. We want to pass that along to you. So. And probably the biggest thing that they, they did was when we bought this, <clears throat> um, these are typically not designed to live in. People take them out for weekends and they plug in and that's how they go about life. Um, so these outlets here, under there, um, every outlet in this camper, except there's one single one up behind the head, um, that's the only one that would work with the, the old battery and inverter. And I think that's for like a CPAP. Every other outlet in here only worked when you're plugged into shore power. And so when we had the new system installed, we got the batteries, the inverter, everything, they had to rewire these somehow to make sure that now when we turn the inverter on, all these outlets work off our battery. So that was a that was a big thing that we had to have. So this is just the first video and several videos we'll be doing as we navigate through the system and do a lot of testing. We'll definitely update you on how this 300 amps of lithium is suiting us. Um, we have to see if Irene can bake a loaf of sourdough and I convection know. oven off the battery. I have to test all this. Um, we've been testing a bit because we, we've had it almost a week now. Yeah. We've not plugged in one time. We could. We were spending yeah, a lot of time at our, at our mom's driveway yes. in Newport, and but we've just purposely not plugged in. We haven't gone on any long drives. We drive Except to town. Except from Ben to here, and then that was yeah, it. But last week, we haven't really gone, just run to town. Yeah. So we're getting a little bit of solar and a little bit of charging from driving around, but we're living in it normally, not worrying about power. We haven't used the air conditioner or the, um, I've used the microwave a couple times just to mm -hmm. warm up coffee. Um, but just living normal without using a lot of power, we've stayed between 50 and 60% yeah. battery. And so we're, we're pretty happy with that. And what? we haven't plugged in once. No, not once. I mean, so I think that shows us because this camper is not full electric, um, that we can, this is going to be something easy that we can just live in and not worry about the power consumption. Yeah, we've been um, using the refrigerator just out propane. Yeah. But that uses some power. And yeah, then we've been does. using, uh, we, have, we haven't had to use the heat because the temperature's been great here, but um, our hot water system runs off propane also. So yeah. um, it's been great. Um, well, one test we did do, <laughs> I'll share with you. <clears throat> we drove about a half hour and um, on our way from Bend, we stopped and we plugged in our Starlink. 
and it was through the last half hour coming to the coast and there is not a lot of cell service in that area. Typically we don't have service, a lot of empty spots there. So we plugged our Starlink in and we drove, checked our battery and it actually because of the DC DC charger and probably solar we we're getting that day, uh, we maintained there was zero battery drop. So that is good to know that we can actually use the Starlink in motion as intended yeah. and the Starlink pulls quite a bit of power the way it's currently wired. So the fact that we can drive with it and not lose any battery power. Yeah. Know, that's going to be nice. Yeah. That was very cool. Oh, I want to, I want to show you the app. Well, why don't we sit down and have some coffee? I need some coffee and we'll show you how we monitor our battery system. So there are a couple different ways that we can keep eyes on our system. And one is this little monitor over here. Yeah, and you can scroll through and it'll show you lots of things about what's going through battery, but we just leave it on the battery percentage so at a quick glance we can see exactly what okay, we're at 50% and we just know that. But if you want to know like what your battery percent is and how much power you're using, how much you're getting, how much solar you're using, yeah. you just go to the to the app. We have a Victron Connect app. Now this is how we turn our inverter on and off. We've never used this app before. We've never had this capability so it's actually really simple for us to use yeah. you can look at all your components separately your solar charger uh solar controller you can look at your inverter you can look at your battery yeah but it's just it's super easy to click on the battery and it tells you exactly you know what your battery is doing how much battery use you have left how long you can go what's your current rate of use. i mean there's mm -hmm. it just a lot of numbers that we won't even we look just at. go okay we're at 50 percent. we're good yeah <laughs> So everything so far has been working seamlessly. Yeah. And uh, I will say when they took, when Ben Battery took the old battery out, he said it was fried. Yeah. Pretty much toast. When we picked the camper up brand new, the control panel didn't work. I said to order a new one. So our first month. month in Florida. We were flying blind. Yeah, we didn't know how much water we had. We were guessing. We were adding a bit here and there. We couldn't tell how much battery you had. And so if you just have this one battery, and, and that's the big thing about lithium, is you can run them down to zero and it doesn't, it doesn't hurt them. Mm -hmm. You know, the old AGM, you know, batteries, you, you take them down too far and they're, you're, you're ruining them. So lithium is, is they're maintenance free. Mm -hmm. You know, just things you don't have to worry about. And that's what's, I mean, I, I wouldn't go without yeah. lithium, yeah. After, especially after you have it. Those six months were rough. Not rough. Yeah. We made it work for sure. If, if you if you pull into campgrounds and plug in all the time, no big deal. But sure. we really enjoy getting out in you know maybe national forests or BLM land or wherever it may be, and not have to worry about finding a. And now with the four wheel <clears throat> drive and the camper, <clears throat> I mean that was our intent with this vehicle is to go to some places you know that we couldn't go to before. And now. We have the freedom to do that with this battery system. So, so this was just a quick video just to kind of show you what we got and talk about the system. And we'll be doing more as we, you know, see what, how we can do the air conditioner, how long that will go. Yeah. Um, we also will be looking at, um, you know, do we need more solar or not? So that's, that's some. Yeah. Now they did look on the roof um, <clears throat> and they said we have room for quite a bit of solar. So um, I just don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Right playing it by ear we Plain may not need it if we don't need it i don't want to get it so um yeah. we'll see but we're excited about our partnership with battleborn and oh we do have a link below i'll put below in the comments and the description and also a code which is carry um but if you enter that code at checkout if you're buying anything batteries off their website uh, you will get $50 off each battery, not just one battery, but each battery. And then I think 25% off merchandise. So be on the lookout for other videos upcoming. Uh, we'll give it some time. We definitely want to work this out. We'll be um, filming different things as we do different tests and we'll compile all that into different videos to show you how this system is going to be working for us. Yeah. Uh, and we've, we've, you know, we're down to just under 50% battery right now and that's yeah. been a week without being plugged in yeah and a lot of days of not solar yeah that's what i was gonna that. say we've got some sun today but um it's been pretty overcast and then where we've been parking by our mom's places we're actually under some trees yeah <clears throat> so not a lot of solar so just some short drives to town like uh, three miles <laughs> yeah into town. it has been bringing the battery up for for our needs but yeah um, yeah but there's a lot of things we want to do i want to try you know if we're getting solar 
Um, I would like to make sure we have enough solar that if we're using our Starlink and not driving, it can top off. That our solar is bringing in as much power as we're using. That's that'll be the yeah interesting one. But and I'm curious about you know how long can we run the air conditioner? I don't suspect that long. But, not that long, but, but it'll be safe for her if we <clears throat> have to run into a grocery store. We can leave. Uh, Miss Pistol behind for, yeah. for a few, so. Yeah, and yep. uh, the microwave used quite a bit of power, but I'm curious to see, like, when you're baking something, how... How that works. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Anyways. A lot of videos up ahead. Super and, happy with it, though. But a lot of other adventures as well. We just want to introduce you to the system and share our exciting news, and we'll see you down the road. Carry on. Carry on. Thanks for watching. And a very special thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Join us over on Patreon for extra videos and more content. Check out our website or Amazon for our pistol book. Carry on. Carry on.